Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you three different options on how you can share a shared channel uh, in Microsoft Teams. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So um, I actually recorded a number of uh, videos on my YouTube channel already, but when you add a channel, um, you can create different types of channels. And one of those channels is a shared channel. Essentially, the idea behind a shared channel is that you can easily share this channel with people inside or outside of your team. And uh, I already created the uh, channel. I have this finance share channel right here. And just to show you at the moment, uh, I am the only one. Uh, I'm the owner of this uh, share channel. Uh, but I can invite others. And these are the three options I have. Share with people, share with the team, and share with the team you own. Uh, by the way, you can also access the same options right from here. Three dots, and again, three options. So how do we invite others? Um, again, let me sh demonstrate all three options uh, to you. So the first one, um, I can choose share with people. And again, you know, because it's a shared channel, it's not a private channel, I can invite people inside of my team or outside of my team. So I'm going to just, you know, list maybe a few people that I would like to invite to my shared channel. All right, and of course, I can make them the owners of the channel, but I'll leave them as members. So for now, I invited them uh, to my, uh, you know, to my uh, uh, channel. Now they are members of this channel. Uh, so that's, uh, you would use this option when uh, you invite maybe a few individual uh, people. Um, share with a team, share with a team. Let's talk about that. So share with a team is when you want to send an invitation uh, to some other, um, you know, user. And what they will be able to do, they will be able to accept that invitation and uh, they will be able to access the shared channel from their team. Uh, so uh, let me do this. Um, let me uh, type in um, Mary here. All right, so I'm going to invite Mary uh, and I'm going to send her the invite. All right, so uh, essentially what happens behind the scenes, Mary now got the invite and uh, she will need to accept that invite and then we'll need to uh, pretty much attach, if you will, or associate or display, you know, this particular channel um, in one of her teams. So I'm now logged in in a different browser as Mary here, all right? So this is Mary's um, account and uh, under the activity, um, you know, Mary will be notified and it will say, Gregory invited you, uh, your team to a shared channel. And uh, essentially, yeah, uh, this is the information about the channel. Uh, she can either decline or accept. Obviously, if she declines, then we're done. So I'm going to click accept and essentially uh, what ends up happening now Mary has to uh, pick a team to give access to this um, uh, you know finance channel uh, so Mary happens to own just one team but let's say um, if Mary was the owner of many teams they would all be listed here so um, we only have one so that's the one I'm going to choose now, after Mary um, kind of accepts the invite and associates uh, this channel with uh, uh, the team that uh, she has chosen, uh, believe it or not, we're not done yet. Um, if you go to the, so Mary accepted the uh, invite, uh, but then it says pending owner approval. So it's back uh, on me, the original owner uh, of this. And uh, if I go, you know, to once again to the uh, activity f uh, feed over here, uh, I will see that Mary chose to add, uh, you know, uh, this channel uh, to her team and I either have to approve or deny. So obviously I'm going to click uh, approve. Now that we're back uh, in Mary's account, this uh, is Mary logged into Microsoft Teams. Essentially, uh, you will see the channel uh, from my team uh, been shown in Mary's team, okay? And um, uh, essentially, uh, there, there will be limited, um, I guess, uh, functions available for Mary here because I still own, I'm the original owner of the team of that 
you know, original team and original channel. Uh, but now, uh, essentially, this channel is accessible and visible uh, from Miri's team. And if Miri wants to kind of see, uh, because remember, her own team can have, uh, you know, many different, uh, many different channels. Uh, essentially, yeah, she will see that this channel um, that I shared with her does not belong to her you know, team, it belongs to essentially under host team, it will display that um, it's actually hosted and owned by this particular project, or right, by this particular team. So this was that uh, second option, um, right? I just covered share with people and share with the team. So there are actually a few steps involved. I mean, first the, um, you know, recipient needs to um, uh, kind of accept the invite and then you have to prove or deny uh, the request to associate that, um, uh, you know, shared channel with the, a specific team. Uh, the third option is the ability to share with the team you own. This is a little bit simpler. So um, essentially, we're not sending any uh, um, in invitations. Uh, we, we're just associating this particular shared channel with other teams that you own. So uh, in my case, you know what, I'm going to uh, maybe uh, choose this HR team site over here and I'm going to associate uh, this shared channel with one uh, of the teams I already own. So there are no uh, there are no approvals or you know invites being sent because again this is just me uh, associate uh, making all the decisions if you will. So here here we go. Uh, this uh, shared channel from Cool Project Team is now now appears under the HR team and. Um, uh, it, it works the same way. It's still hosted. It's still uh, is hosted from this team. It just is visible uh, from uh, from another location as well, or right, from another team. Uh, so these are the three uh, options I wanted to cover. Um, uh, again, the whole idea behind a shared channel is uh, is uh, the ability to sh easily share it with others. And as I just demonstrated, you can easily share it with um, just a few people uh, within your organization. You can share it uh, with some of your other you know, teams that you own. And most importantly, I really like this option is when you uh, can share it with other you know, teams and other team owners, uh, but it, this does involve a few steps, so you just need to, to pay, ta pay attention to that. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it informative. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.